Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Android News Byte. Today, I wanted to highlight a ruling that has come from the 2020 lawsuit between Epic and Google. Now, if you don't remember, four years ago, Epic sued Google due to how they were forcing developers to go through its own billing system for in-app purchases. This forced developers to give up 30% of the transaction, even if they had their own payment processing system available to them. Such a feature is welcomed for developers who may not be able to implement them on their own, but for companies like Epic and Spotify, it's just not needed and it reduces the income generated from the sale. The lawsuit went on for three years until the jury ruled in favor of Epic. Now, the judge presiding over the case has issued their final decision, and while Google does say they plan to appeal, the proposed changes could result in more competition for the Mountain View tech giant. The big headline of this ruling is that Google will be forced to distribute rival third-party app stores within Google Play. But not only that, the judge is trying to also force Google to allow these third-party app stores to offer the full catalog of Google Play apps if they so choose. Meaning that you could opt to use the app store from Epic from Amazon, or even from Samsung, and then be able to install all of Google's first-party apps and services through it, if that's what you wanted to do. But the ruling doesn't end there. Starting November 1st, Google must also stop requiring the use of Google Play billing for apps distributed on Google Play Store. They must allow developers the ability to tell their users about other ways to pay from within the Play Store. They must also allow developers the option to link to ways to download their apps outside of the Play Store. And they must allow developers the ability to set their own prices for apps irrespective of play billing. This ruling goes even further by preventing Google from sharing app revenue with any person or entity that distributes Android apps or plans to launch an app store or app platform. Google also cannot offer developers money or perks to launch their own apps from the Play Store exclusively or first they are unable to offer developers money or perks to not launch their apps on rival stores. During this time, Google will not be able to offer device makers or wireless carriers any money or perks to pre-install the Play Store. And lastly, they will be blocked from offering device makers or carriers money or perks to not pre-install rival app stores. As mentioned, Google has announced that they will appeal this decision, but that doesn't mean anything will change this ruling. The upper courts could refuse to take on the case, and that will result in this ruling being final. This is a major decision from the United States courts, and it could change the playing field of Android entirely. Epic had requested that the judge force these changes for six years, but that has been dropped down to three in an attempt to level the playing field for the entry and growth of rival app stores without burdening Google too much. It's no secret that Google has had an unfair advantage over developers when it comes to the Google Play Store, the company could have likely avoided all of this had they simply offered third-party developers the ability to use their own billing system. 
Yes, they would have lost out on that 30% revenue share, but they could have still continued to pay device makers and wireless carriers to pre-install the Play Store and its apps. It looks like a lot will be changing over the next few years, and I look forward to seeing if there will be any companies who will be able to rise up and compete. So let me know what you think about this ruling down in the comment section below. And please, do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android news content like this.